All right, I'm Matt Vanacoro with Waves Factory, and we're going to take a look at cassette transport. Cassette transport can do some really interesting things to your audio, as well as being a separate just collection of sounds that you can use inside of your tracks. So I've loaded it up as a plugin, and you'll see that I've got it on just a stereo track right now. Now, with any track, what you can do is basically you can play the track, and when cassette transport is in the stopped mode, you're not going to hear any audio. But when you hit play... You heard how it spun up. So you've got that sound of the track stopping and spinning up as it goes by. Now you can also stop it as well. So if I play again, and then I hit the stop button, you can hear how it slowed down and stopped there as well. And what I've got there is I've got the ability to control both the ramp up play time and the stop time. Now you'll notice right now, because these are synced with this button right here, they are synced to the host tempo. When I make adjustments, I'm adjusting in elements of notes. So I'm adjusting to a 16th note, to a quarter note. I can go free and just decide how many milliseconds I want it to take to start and stop. <laughs> and that was pretty long. Or I can just keep it synced and do it in you know smart amounts of notes. So that's pretty cool. I got start and stop. And you don't have to do it manually. Don't worry. It's fully automatable. So if I want to, I'll just open up an automation lane in Logic really quickly. And I'll go to cassette. And I'll hit the play button. And I'll decide, hey, I'm going to start playing right there at measure four, play on. So before that, we'll have it off. There we go. So it's not going to go on until measure four. So I play back my track and I hear nothing, and it's going to ramp up at exactly measure four. And of course, I can automate in my stops as well. So very, very easy to do. I can just quickly go in there and say, hey, I want you to press the stop button on at measure five. So let's say I just hear it there. Okay, so now if I play back my track, I start it, I keep it playing. And it stops there. There we go. So if I'm starting out with it stopped, it will start playing right there at measure four, and it will stop playing right there at measure five. Yep, looks like it's doing it. Awesome. And I've got the ability to go ahead and use fast forward, rewind, and access some really cool classic sounds as well. But it's really great that you can just automate this and have it go whenever you want. So if you're putting it on an instrument track or anything, you'll get a really cool tape ramping up and slowing down element to your song. You can put it on the master or you can put it on any individual track. It's a great plugin, easy to use, great functionality and collection of sounds. And it's Cassette Transport from Waves Factory.